Alright, welcome everyone, welcome to Dishonored. Tonight we're going to be having a lesson of sorts. How much more cringe can a man be if he's already got a history of fanfiction, tabletop, role-playing, and online gaming? To which I answer, that sounds like a challenge to me. And whatever else you can say about me, I will not back down from a challenge easily, even if it's one of my own making. Now, Dishonored is a series I really, really enjoy. I think the games do a fantastic job with world-building, art style, level design... Arcane Studios has made some real gems over the years, but it does have some problems. Among, among other things, it's a little too easy once you get, start getting the higher-end superpowers, and you kind of have to do self-imposed restrictions or specific playstyles to keep things in interesting. So, tonight we're doing two things. One, no quick saves. I tried disabling the hotkey to completely remove temptation, but couldn't find a way to do it, and it only lets you rebind it, so I'm just going to have to avoid that as best I can. This won't be a full Iron Man run. I'll do a hard save at the start of each mission and might lean on auto saves if I keep getting my ass kicked, but no saves coming if I botch a stealth sequence. And two, this is the fun one. To restrict my usual method of using the stealth knockout on other on every target I can and methodically clear a level, I will have to make a pun about choking every time I do so. This does not preclude other methods of elimination, lethal or non-lethal, and we might adjust these rules as we go. But basically, I have to be clever about taking out a target one way or the other. Is this kind of dumb? Yes. Very. But I've been meaning for a replay and thought this might be my kind of dumb, so I'm curious to see how well the game holds up. I suspect the whole Rat Plague thing will feel a lot different after 2020. But that's all for my prepared remarks, so without further ado, let us begin. Off we go. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Yeah, that's what happens when the uh, place Emily doesn't have enough cats. Count the days until you return. Hurry home and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Passing off. We're away. All right, doing a mic check over some voices to see how I sound. Everything coming through okay? Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. One, two, Lord one, Corvo two. Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Excellent, thank you. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. That's what it's all about right there. Whales and the magic oil they give us. Hard to believe this game's nine years old. Like, it's starting to show its age, particularly in the architecture. You're going to see a lot of uh, fairly sharp edges to the design. It's starting to look a little bit older than... Uh, it's, it's starting to look, look a little bit of a certain time period. But the art style, I think, helps keep it a little more contemporary. It helps me helps hide the fact that it's aged, as it has. Exactly, yeah. They're not trying to go for hyper-realism. The characters are all kind of uh, interesting little subtle characters. And everything is animated very, very well. That's always been a signature of Arcade Studios. They pay a lot of attention to the little ways that you can see the guy in front of us, Kerr now, he's like fiddling with his hands while he wait. And yeah, the second Dishonored game is just flat out gorgeous. This goes well, I'll eventually replay that too. You know what to it's been good traveling time. with you, Corvo. Yes. You yes. ever met my niece for this? Ah, this old problem. Walking easily outpaces NPCs, so if you want to do a walk and talk with them, you sort of have to stutter or walk. I'm no this is sprinting. Hello, sir. But yeah, honestly, it still looks really good. Hey, it's our daughter. Spoiler alert, that's... 
As the Empress's daughter, we have not been informed of that plot twist, but they will hint at it very, very strongly as we go. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Ah, uh, what the heck. Let's have a stealth tutorial with our... Definitely not our daughter. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Follow me, Corvo. Ah, uh, Kidoki. Let's make sure I remember how this plays here. Let's go. Come on. I'm right there with you, kid. Yeah, I like this as my walking speed. I'm keeping up with her while she's running. Let's see if you're. Oddly so enough, that's actually fairly fitting I'll for a kid. I'll my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. You got it. Okay, Hup. I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. They really do. Just pick the kid up and give her a big old hug. One, I think two, back here should be okay. Yeah, say what you will about the game's story. I think it generally does well by its characters, and Emily absolutely is a complete cinnamon roll. We're not eating the Empress daughter off a bridge, man. Come on. I mean, unless she turns into some kind of fetus monster like in Resident Evil Village. Then all bets are off. Now let's see where you're hiding. Okay. Okay, you win. We should go now. There we go. That was easy. Uh, all right, stealth tutorial passed. Excellent. Did you see any monsters? I'm fully equipped to hide from children. My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. Ooh. Uh, I think if you walk out early, she doesn't really make a concerted effort to find you. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Hi there, future assassination target. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the aisles to beg for aid. Sokolov doesn't give a Wasting shit. He's got inventions to make and art to do. The plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. You saw my improvements to the water lock. Just a second, I need a drink. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider. Huh? Though in truth, he's always close to this stuff. This is a cute little detail. This painting will show up later, and grabbing the cider means he paints over it and it shows up later without it. Things are... She'll see you at once. I heard that. Y'all were starting a random conversation, weren't ya? <coughs> oh, those are fun. They don't sound at all like natural conversation. It's just lines that are mechanically programmed, hooked together. My lord, this will become more apparent as we go. Sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're they're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. Hang on a second. There we go. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises. As usual. Hey, Cran, welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah. You know a thing or two about that, don't you, Ivory? It's a this is, uh... Home to me. What news have you brought? Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. it. It feels like they had some idea of the system they were making, but the phrases that they came up with just do not link together in a naturalistic way. Like, they'll say something like, can the city get any I worse? The and other the other guy will say, chances are very before. good. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. Yeah, they, they make it very the obvious who the bad guys are in this game. The subtlety is about Powers. as... The storytelling is about as subtle as a brick. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Don't worry, the murder will start very shortly. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily. Oh, it's showtime, kids! Push ya! Come get it! 
I like to imagine Corvo is actually really excited for this. Like, he almost never gets to fight anybody in the co normal course of his duties. And so he's like, fuck yeah, finally get something to do! Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... You couldn't be blamed for what's coming next. No! Or totally not waifu and totally not daughter. Corvo, it's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. I saw that pop in. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, uh, sorry, Your Highness, but Look at that was a real done. obvious NPC drop yes, in there. He's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own yeah, clearly he's own. got the mark of the outsider. I'll see you beheaded for this. Yeah, exactly. Take him. All right. We have officially been dishonored, and now we must re-honor ourselves with murder. You can see things have gotten a bit more fascist since we've been out. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. I don't know about almost. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Hey, Axide. Welcome to the show. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Alrighty. Welcome to Skyrim. Alright. So let's see here. We all start with innocence, but the world leads us to guilt. Some very good handwriting for prisoners, I must say. I mean, this, this whole thing is like steampunk fantasy London. You gotta figure literacy rates would, uh, vary. Anyway. Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there, and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear there. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. Oh yeah, Corvo is a hungry boy. We are going to eat everything we can as soon as we see it. Alright. Got me a city watch sword. Got me some money. We're ready to begin. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Now I'm going to die for nothing. Alright. Here we go. Our first one. Oh, the... right. Hang on a second. There should be a but button prompt, I thought. Oh, they probably disable it for the uh, fucking difficulty mode. Where's the... Here we go. Lock choke, left control. Thank you. Alright, my friend. Let me introduce you to my friends. Chokey and the Bandit! Yeah! 
Curse those rich milk bloods for putting me here. All right, you take five. Papa, he'll be fine. Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch, escort through the solitary All right. wing must be scheduled in advance with one week. Now to let's see here. Oh shit. This might be off to a rough start already. Trying not to kill these guys. I broadly speaking want to go for a low chaos run, but accidents may happen. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, we gotta run. Go, 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 go. I don't know why I slid there. Alright. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna have to get violent with these guys. Okay. Once more with feeling. Yep, death number one. Got a drink. Okay. So many people are coming to the execution tomorrow. Fortunately, I have more puns. Let me introduce you to my friend, Chokey Roberts! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna use up all my goddamn choke puns in this me this freaking prison level. There you go. Okay, yeah, credit where it's due, on, fair, on very hard, the guards are not entirely unperceptive. Unless accompanied by an officer Let's of see, the can I pickpocket this guy? Escort through the solitary wing. Whoop ah! Scheduled in advance with one week's notice. All right, easy does it. Let him move back, and I think. Hey, I heard you got eaten oh, by the cards. Bug someone else. All right, let him go. Huh? Ah, fuck! You gotta bleed. Let's see if I can get away from these guys. Climb, Corvo. Ah oh, shit! Okay, fine. We need to handle this ourselves. Okay, well. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, game has kind of an inverse difficulty curve. Where it's a lot easier later on once you have all the fun powers. It's all right. I have my friend Chokey Robinson to help me get through this. Yeah, honestly, I think probably the prison level is the hardest in the game if you're trying to do this non-lethal. And even if you're not, it's a fair bit before you actually get the get what you need to survive uh, fighting multiple guys at once. Must be scheduled in advance. Was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense. Please. Okay. Not now. So let that guy move back. Huh? Oh come on! All right, fine. You want to dance? I tried to be nice, but you people are not letting me be reasonable here. Uh oh, I saw that. You threw something at me. Alright, I guess we're doing high chaos then. Come at me. You know, you're probably right. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I normally do kind of save scum my way through this because I do... Like, the difference between the low and high chaos runs is pretty stark. Like, high, low chaos is genuinely a mega happy ending, and high chaos is like, man, everything's just fucked and you're a psycho killer and such. Oh, shit. Alright, easy does it. Actually, wait. I can do this. All right, they must have seen the bodies, and now they're on high alert. I know you're here. 
So let's be careful. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance. Okay, they went down that way. Unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Actually, I think that distracted them. Through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance. Ah, One motherfucker, we need a key. Yard walkway key. Oh shit. That's on one of the guards. No. Can't you slip it to me in another meal? Okay. So there goes our key. We need to get it from him. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. Look out. Got oh, there's two guys with the key. Okay. All right, so he's going to check on the cell. We need this guy to come up on us. So we wait for him to come closer. Thankfully, the objective marker helps us see through walls before we can actually see through walls. Okay. He's going side to side. Okay, now's our chance. <laughs> Yoink! Alright. I think this also goes upstairs. Is there any loot this way? No. Yoink! Steal everything. Attention. It is kind of an unex It's not really a uh, spiritual successor to Thief, but there's a lot of the same DNA in the way they build their levels and encourage you to grab everything that's not nailed down. Thank you. Okay, now we're out of the prison area proper. We need to find the uh, explosive that'll get us through the main gate. Uh, hello, Anonymous. I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm busy playing video games. I'm here to commit very tightly restricted murder. Alright. Oh. Uh, is there anybody in here? Restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Okay, hold on a sec. I think I need to deal with this. Just a second here. Okay, sorry about that. Little noisemaker's been dealt with. Now then. Back to getting out of here. Yeah, I, I think... Dishonored has... The big problem is it gives you all the fun lethal toys, and then the story encourages you to not kill as many people as you can. And those things sit at cross-purposes, because it is genuinely fun to go through the levels and just find inventive ways to deal with enemies. And if you're trying not to take them down, if you're trying not to kill them, your options are the choke, the trank darts, or just sneaking around them entirely. And it's just not as fun. Okay, Corvo Tano, formerly Royal Protector, this is of most importance. Get the torture under control. I was just uh, talking about how we're being tortured. Trying to get us to confess. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than in two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Okay. Anything in here? All sorts critical, of goodies. But it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress. Uh, this is just about overseer lore. It's not a trivial matter. Anything else? Exactly, yeah. And yeah, it... I liked parts of Thief 3, but you could feel that they were trying to st stretch it to fit on the console, or trying to squeeze it into the, the consoles of the era. They're just... Sacrifices had to be made, and it affected the game in 
unpleasant ways. Okay, if I recall right, a guard will show up now that we've got the bomb, so... Let's try being clever about this. And yeah, that is one thing that Dishonored 2 did much better. Preventing you with a lot of, uh, a lot more non-lethal options and a lot of ways to escape a combat situation without having to kill anyone. Okay... Am I mistaken? Attention. Maybe I am mistaken. Okay. It's over here. There, put that down. I saw that glint. There's something over here. Or maybe... Oh, it was probably just reflection. Never mind. Never mind. All right. I'm gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The reports trouble the police. I'm moving. Yeah, it makes it, it makes some sense in context. You're trying to. Oh, come on. Here. Ah, fuck. Okay. Up here. We need to let the heat die down. That's the thing, yeah, it's... Killing people directly contributes to the rat plague problem, so that makes a certain kind of sense. But it is, uh... It, it does mean the gameplay and the story are sometimes at cross purposes. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can sneak around these guys. I was going to try and pickpocket them, but we're going to have to be real careful about that. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, maybe I can grab this dude's. That guy's got a key. I think we'll have to, to pinch it. Okay. Wait for that guy to move. You stay. Oop. Oh no 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 no! Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved Yoink. dignitaries only. Up we go. Corvo's execution is tomorrow, right? All right, yeah, easy does it. Set up today. I can't wait to see his well, hand roll. You got someone sculpting. Not everyone around. did. Mm. I really like the Empress. Okay. Need to get over here. Wait for the guy to look around. You, sir. Just need you to turn around that way. Oop, coins. Yeah, not a lot of places to stay hidden in here. Okay, I think. Now's our chance. Unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Oh, come on! Well, here we go. Fuck it, high chaos it is. Let's run for it, boys. Ah, shit, I gotta hit a switch. No! Fuck! Run in here, hit a switch. Ah! Dude, cut me going through a window. <laughs> you know, what I'm trying to do is prevent them from having a guilty conscience for executing me. I'm turning it into self-defense. If anything, I'm the hero here. Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see his hand Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. Yeah, the irony is that probably would help the uh, Lord Regent's plan perfectly. Okay, let's see if I can get in now. Here we go. You, sir, have you heard the expression, where there's choke, there's fire? Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Well, tonight, it'll be that. But explosions. Alright, take five. Attention. The solitary wing Pretty much, yeah. It's... This is highlighting just how necessary the Outsider's powers really are to even the odds. Oop, hang on a second. I see some jelly deals. 
Okay. Now, I can't resist... Oh, wait, no. There's a guy there. He'll see me. Damn it. I was going to pinch the guy's wallet outside, but that might be a bad idea. Ah. Okay. We need to hit that switch, and this dude's in the way. That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. Bunch of crap. Yeah, all the food stuff is based on, uh... Let's call them innovative uses of seafood. So, lots of fish, lots of eels, all sorts of stuff. You are looking at me. I see that. The model is reacting to me through the doorway, even if he isn't detecting me. Pardon me, sir. You're in the designated choking area. Here. I'll join your friend. Alright. So we've got the guy patrolling outside. We just need him to turn away. Okay, here we go. Give me them jelly deals. Alright, now if I hit that switch, I think he's gonna come running in here. So we need to work quickly. Let you go that way. I don't know, stupid goddamn. Or maybe not. Oh, I see that wallet. Oh, you son of a bitch. You know what? You get to keep your money today. Shit. One more guy. I wonder. Can we lure you away? Shit. We need a distraction. Uh huh. All right. No time like the present. You know what my favorite vegetable is? Artichoke. Yeah. There. Take five in the kennel, or the uh, little dog carrier thing. You know, I think with the right upgrade, that actually does. Shit! All right. All right. Wait the bomb. Run. All right. Turn the motor. <laughs> run! 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 Oh Jesus Christ! Ah! Ow! Who knew escaping from prison would be this painful? Go! Jailbreak, motherfuckers! Alright. Yay! And we managed to get through with only a handful of murders. Excellent! <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would work so well, that would work so well with a lot of the uh, chases in here. <laughs> I mean, you know, Oblivion made it look easy. All you have to do is have Patrick Stewart come into your cell that happens to have the escape route and you're golden. All right. Oh, hey. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked and you've broken free from Cold Ridge. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel where these tunnels dump, a yacht, dump out into the river. He will bring you to us, a friend who will meet you soon. Outstanding. Okay, here we go. So we got these rat clusters that are the ones spreading the plague, and you can see they're trying to get me. They will attack you in enough numbers, and also anybody else. And they'll also chew on bodies. We'll get a demonstration to this very, br very briefly. Very shortly, I should say. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny if someone else found the letter. Okay. Alright, 
rats. I can't even get in there. Yeah, these, these rats, they mean business. They're like New York City rats, except worse. You need to sort of plan around them, and they don't play nice. Yeah, they can be distracted by bodies and such. But you might have to go to town on them. And clear the swarm the hard way. They are the primary vectors spreading the plague. And if I recall right, the plague itself is theorized to have come on a ship from, uh... Some distant continent. I want to say it's called Pendizia. It's this kind of poorly explained place where a lot of the animals are, like, basically monstrous. They're just thoroughly host hostile to human life, and there have only been a handful of successful expeditions there. It's kind of a Africa of their world in, a, in a, that sense. Yep. Ah. Uh, sorry, people. Do you have anything I can steal? I'm going to buy half the elixir we needed. Even that's all gone now. Nothing you can do but wait. Yeah. A lot of sad stories going around. Dark times in Dunwall. Yeah, the mice are sort of a constant presence in the sewers and the less well-maintained parts of the city. They can sometimes be used offensively, and you actually get a uh, power that can exploit them, that can uh, summon them. Ah, oh, come on, get out of the way. Thank you. But they are always a problem when they show up, and you sort of have to carefully navigate around them. Alrighty. Here's some stuff. Yeah! Give me that potted whale meat. I'm hungry. I need to replace the flesh I lost getting out of prison. From gunshots. Alright. Anything here? Aren't we supposed to load the bodies in the carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah. Ah, here's an object demonstration of how this can be a problem. We need to distract those rats long enough to either deal with them or open the gate. Fortunately, there are bodies to do just this. Anything up here? No. Alright. Remember, kids, it's not desecrating a corpse if you need to solve a puzzle. Come on, take the bait already. Okay, fine. You want some fresher meat. Here you go. There they go. Alright. Eat up, you little bastards. Oh, I never actually played a Plague Tale. It looked interesting, but I haven't talked to anybody that's uh, actually played that. It looks like one of those interesting little experiments in, like, in the stealth survival stuff that took a fairly grounded approach to a setting with a plague in it, but I haven't... I wanted to check it out, but it's on a long list of things to do. Can't it seriously use birds? Interesting. Right, let's climb this here chain. Corvo's eating habits are very questionable. He will eat basically anything he finds, no matter where he finds it. It's like in Fallout, or the modern Fallouts, where you're just grabbing stuff off the shelf that's been sitting there for, like, centuries. And, yeah, alright, this box of Cheesy Poof's probably good. What the hell? Okay, that actually cost me some health. I gotta watch out for rotten fruit here. That is the first unhealthy thing I've eaten so far. Okay... Now, if I trigger this, does that fire the bolt? It might. Yep, there's another one. Aha! Exactly. Fire cures the plague. That's how you get around it. Thank you.
Somebody's getting inventive down here. Okie dokie. Supplies. What else is down here? Give. Oh, yeah. I'm not even looking at what I'm eating. I'm just... Oh, shiny thing. Food. Let's grab it. Uh, can't get up that way. There was somewhere there? No. There we are. Ah, more loot containers. I mean, dead people. What a shame. There we go. Greetings, Corvo. Or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and of the true Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet with you. Take these weapons, crafted for you crafted for you of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet with our man Samuel, near these near where these tunnels spill into the Renhaven River. All haste and luck. We share a common purpose. Oh hell yeah. Got a sick ass crossbow or folding sword. I'm not even going to pretend to understand how a folding sword can have the rigidity of a normal weapon. But whatever. It's good enough for our purpose. I mean, I'm sure there's some crazy experiment in blacksmithing that managed to make that make something like that, but... Eh, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Interesting side note. You can actually grab a couple different weapons on your way out from prison. We grabbed the watch, the watch officer's sword that was left for us. Um, I'm trying to think. Is this where the puzzle thing was? There's a safe combo we unlocked. Yeah, whatever. Getting off track. But yeah, you can grab the watch officer sword, or the watch sword that's left to you, or one from one of the officers. And that comes up a little later, too. There's one sequence where you have to regain your weapons, and in the meantime, you can grab a couple different swords. They all function the same, but they all have different models. It's kind of a curious little detail. Friction folder, huh? Interesting. Okay, so that is an actual thing. That's something they can make that will still function. In case you do daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey. Got it? Ah. Okay. Safe combo, simple puzzle. And of course, this being one of those games, there's a reference to Fahrenheit 451. it. Give me that money. Gonna need to buy a lot of trank darts when we get out of here. You won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take them out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Okie dokie. All right. Now we could do a drop assassination like here. Weeper in here. Uh, do I want to though? Kinda. Kinda. Let's get a little lower down. Did I tell you about the time I Actually, do we have any drank darts? We do. Yes. Good. I think I can make this pun. Probably is. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Just slip into the water. Don't come out. Down he goes. Alright, now I'm gonna try to choke him out. You know, what's, you know what's my favorite fruit? Choconut! Yeah! Okay, I think there's two more over here. Easy does it. <laughs> Settle in, man. I got a bunch of these. Okay, there's two guards here. Well, the way I see it, Corvo is... Even before it was confirmed that Emily was his daughter in the second game, Corvo is a dad in spirit. So you gotta get his dad jokes in. 
All right, I got an idea. Ah, shit, there's three of them. Okay. Now, the rules don't apply for trank darts, so I am going to do that on one of these dudes just as soon as there's an opening. Easy does it. Actually, I think I can do this. Watch this move maneuver carefully. You know what I call it? The Chokey Pokey! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh, shit. Alright. We're gonna have to get creative here. <laughs> okay. By creative, I mean just run. I see that. Give me that money thing. That's what it's all about, man. All right. Here, yes. Ah, the word's getting out. Over here. Hey, there's a man. I'm a friend. All right. I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. Yeah, I'm a little I suppressed myself. Just down the river. Technically, I died in like three or four other timelines. But sit tight. There's Look one quick thing I gotta do. I'll be here. Just don't take. Poof ah! There's a thing in here. Then we can loot for money if we can find it. There you are. Yes, gimme. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Yeah, hagfish are nasty, and you basically can't do anything about them unless you can actually see them, which from the surface you really can't. Okay, done looting, on with the plot. We've got a hot meal and a warm bed waiting for you. Both of those sound real good. Okay. Let's see what we did. Okay. So we killed three guards. One was found. Still low chaos. That's good. Yeah. Didn't kill anyone. Ghost. That's not happening. We opened the safe. We found the sunken treasure. Alright. Not a bad start, actually. Considering, uh, things didn't quite go as planned to begin with. Uh, it could have done better. Could have done worse.